I joined Mr. Beast University of YouTube because before that my thumbnails are looking like this. But now it's look like this. And my title from looking like this to now it's look like this. And the first 30 seconds of the intro from looking like this. So let, let me explain what I am talking about. Hi guys, my name is Zakwan Patel and first of all this video is a uh, intro of this channel and so now you are look, you are already watching my intro. But the question is how the transformation happened. So I studied big YouTubers so I can learn from them and now I am ready to share that all the knowledge which I learned from them with you guys and the first rule of making a really good videos is to finding a great idea that work. Number one, finding a video idea. Go to the similar YouTube channel like you and study their best videos. Their most viewed video ideas are the ones people are interested to watch. You can use the YouTube auto suggestion feature to find out what kind of ideas people are interested to watch. And if you have idea then before you start working on that idea, please evaluate that idea that it is worth to make a video on it or not. You can use keyword planner, tube buddy keyword research tool or simply find a similar video to, the, or to your idea and see how audience responded to their video. So in short make the videos which people are interested to watch not the videos which you wanted to make or create because video idea is really important factor of the video. For example how to beast all the viral videos are in the past and now very few people watch his vlogs. And if you have privilege of something like you have unique talent or you have, you have expertise on some specific topic or you can spend lots of money on video or you can spend lots of time on researching on some topics and make videos about it then I suggest you to use it well because it's create entry barrier for others because everybody can't do it. Like Mr. B spent so much money on his videos that it's almost impossible to replicate him. Number 2 Thumbnail Thumbnails are important because thumbnails bring clicks and if nobody watches your video then your content does not matter. So here are the tips for clickable thumbnail. Tell a story through a thumbnail. Example, if you are making a video like running 24 hours straight, then instead of using a simple photo of you running, you can use a photo that shows pain. Use facial expressions well according to the situation. Choose a focus object. In this example, our primary focus is on the guy with the pain. And the maximum you should use three objects, not more than that. Thumbnails without text is recommended, but if you use text, then maximum use four word and use bold text. You can use arrow, red or white color as an attention pointer if you want viewer to pay attention to the specific point. Pay attention to your background and object color contrast because without color contrast your object doesn't stand out. And do not hesitate to give sneak peek of your final product if it is capable of creating curiosity and curiosity means viewers mind should be raising a questions like how this is possible or is this possible or can someone do that really? That kind of questions are rising on uh, viewers mind and it is it makes it really clickable thumbnail and after after liking the thumbnails viewers mind directly go into the title. Number 3 title. The title should be explaining what the viewer should expect from the video in a clear and easy words. Avoid confusing titles. Shorter titles are the better titles. Including some words like 5 tricks, only in 5 minute, world largest or, or world first etc is done well in the past. Mr. Beast said in one of his podcasts that using I word makes lots of lots of difference. Uh, an example, if you wanted to make a video like I done particular challenge for 30 days, then instead of uh, using title that uh, doing particular challenge for particular days, you should definitely use I that I done particular challenge for particular days. And that uh, makes difference that what Mr. B said and if you really wanted to rank your videos like uh, um, you wanted to rank uh, your videos on search result then you should use keyword in the title that's an obvious thing. Number 4 starting of the video. In first 30 seconds of the video you have to convince viewer that video is worth watching and in first 30 seconds of the video viewer will notice your video quality your audio quality and most importantly your presentation skill and uh, your video pace. Video pace means that uh, your content shouldn't be going too fast that viewers mind can't catch it up or your content shouldn't be so slow that viewer get bored. Some YouTubers use montage of the clips which are coming in a video so it works as a clip hanger and viewers should interested to know that what happens next and those clips are really good so viewer watch whole video to watch those clips 
and you have to find your own way to make viewers engage to first 30 to 1, one minute really well and your t you have to choose your own category and according to your category you have to make the really good 30, 30 second to first minute and the first, the first one minute of the video is really important that I would say that if you spend your 40% of effort on making a really good uh, first one minute and you should spend say 60% of your effort on remaining video then it is perfectly fine because that's how important the first minute of the video is. Number 5 General Tips which is really important Storytelling skill is really important. If you see big YouTubers like Mr. Beast, Mark Robert, Dude Perfect, their videos often include challenges and stories. And even if you see Mark Robert then his videos all are generally based on story. Slim bull shots, I'm not holding the trigger. This kid is. In fact, that kid was the whole reason we were there at all. Because this was a culmination of eight months of planning to throw him the most epic birthday party ever. And all of this started inadvertently from a single surprise phone call. Always focus on quality than quantity because your quality videos have potential to uh, gather you lots of views from next two to four years. And uh, I would say that uh, make, make 3 quality videos per month instead of making 30 random videos per month because quality always wins over quantity that's a key rule of YouTube. Try to build a community and uh, you know connection with your viewers because it is really important. Sound effects and sound play really vital and really good role on making a video successful or not. I would say that uh, if, your, if your video is uh, low quality but your sound is quality then video can work but if your video is HD and your sound isn't uh, quality or it has lots of noise then the video can't work. Longer videos are now getting more appreciated than shorter videos that's what I personally think and that's what lots of big YouTubers are doing they are making longer videos because I think YouTube algorithm see Netflix and some other OTT platform as competitor but that doesn't mean we should really stretch videos unnecessarily if our content is only 4 minutes long then we should we should only use a 4 minute but definitely that's the thing that longer videos are nowadays appreciable. And at last I would say just never give up and continue to make quality videos and improve your video day by day. And uh, always when, whenever you uh, upload new video then always analyze that what you done better in this video than your previous video. And uh, that will really impact on our growing skill.